Okay, here's a monster electromagnet. Uh, at the bottom here, we see the magnet head. And this was made of some pipe with a cap um, welded on the top of it. And this little loop to allow us to hold it with a, a small winch. Um, at the bottom of the magnet, is a metal bar okay, at the bottom of the magnet is a, a metal bar that's also welded to the cap up here it comes down through the center um, inside here is just a big roll of aluminum sheathing just uh, sheets of aluminum with paper in between them for an insulator. So we've completely filled this up with uh, aluminum sheathing and uh, some thin paper in between the, uh, the rolls for insulation. And the top of the magnet has uh, some taps on the aluminum sheathing, one for the center of the aluminum sheathing and one for the side of the aluminum sheathing. And this is insulated, this is just some uh, insulating plastic here to allow these terminals to come out the top. Okay, I've hung the magnet head back on to the winch here and uh, this winch just allows us to pull the item that we're lifting up and down. Um, this magnet uh, from some early tests we did was able to lift about 400 pounds at least. We were able to lift a couple of students and a large metal bar. It runs off of a 12 volt battery. Some of the connections in the battery here are for the magnet and some of them are for the winch. The control panel we use to control the currents are right here. We just took some IGBT modules and used them to switch the large currents. The magnet uses about 90 amps um, and we'll drain the battery down pretty quick. These are the on off buttons for these modules and really these modules were probably we could do better than these modules because um, they get a little warm during uh, lifting operations. So we're losing a little bit of power in here and we need to come up with a better a better way to switch those large currents. So I'm going to go ahead and try to lift this large metal bar with these weights on either side of it. A weight there and um, a weight here and a big huge metal bar. So the way to do this is I'm going to flip the magnet on and then I'm going to activate the winch. Oh, I went the wrong way with the winch. There we go. Okay, so here we are lifting up this weight and it could do a lot more than this particularly if we had more surface area on the bar with the magnet. Now I'm going to hit the switches to drop this so once I turn these two switches off all this weight will drop. Okay, So that just gives, gives you an idea of how much, uh, how much weight we have there. Um, this was all done with pretty much just homemade parts um, and the ability to weld. The 